Good evening. My name is Jeff from the uh, St. David's Micro Center, and this is my video entitled Windows 7 Wonders, the turning of a laptop into a wireless router. There's a couple of reasons why you might want to do this. Uh, the reason that I do it, I travel a lot, and we visit a lot of uh, hotels where the internet at the hotel has to be logged into on an individual PC, and that makes it difficult for using other devices uh, such as PDAs and other devices that may not have a screen to accept a login. So you need a way of getting on the internet and you get your free internet through the hotel or wherever you are. Uh, sometimes I tether my phone uh, to a computer, but then somebody else might want to connect to it. We don't all have those phones that have the uh, wireless uh, tethering like the new uh, Android phones. So I'm going to show you how to do it with a regular laptop. And here we go. All right, I'm going to use my little baby Fujitsu laptop to show you the first part of this setup, and that is setting up the actual router. The first thing you have to remember is you need something that has at least two connections. One of them is going to be the wireless connection that your other computers are going to connect to. And the other one is going to be either another wireless connection or a wired connection or even a cell phone tethered that is going to be the actual internet connection. In this case, I'm going to connect up my Ethernet cord to this little laptop. It should pick up an IP address in a minute. There it goes. And now this laptop is on the internet. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down in the control panel to the network center. And this is in Windows uh, 7, Network and Sharing Center. You open this up, and it's going to ask you what you want to do down here. You're going to set up a new connection or network. As soon as you set that up, scroll down to the bottom where it says set up a wireless ad hoc computer to computer network and click next. It's going to confirm this is what you want to do. Just click next. And now you're going to give it a network name. I'm going to call mine RC1 just so that we have something unique. The other thing you can do is over here you can set up your private web key or security or you don't have to do it at all. In this case I'm not going to set up in the security key just going to do this for the sake of getting it done and over with. You can say save this network, which will keep it in its memory. Say next. It's going to set it all up. What it's doing now is it's taking the wireless connection of the laptop and binding it to the internet connection that I'm connected by wire. Click down here, very important, turn on internet connection sharing. This is what tells the world around you within a good 100 foot radius of this little laptop that this thing is broadcasting the internet. Click finish and you're done. There's your internet. It says that it's joined. Your connections is local area connection and your new network is going to be called RC1. All right. Now we're at my favorite laptop. I click on the network icon. It shows me the list of networks. I find RC1, the network that we created. I click connect. In the case of a web key, it will ask you for your password. If not, it will simply connect you. As you can see up here, I am connected to RC1 and to the Internet. And the proof is in the Internet Explorer. It takes me right to Google, and I'm ready to roll. It's that simple. Set up your router, connect up. You can have up to eight people connecting to your network without a real major slowdown. And if the internet connection on the small laptop through the wired or through your tethering of your, of your phone is fast enough, you can get a whole load of people connecting up and even sharing resources and files with each other like a little mini network. And that's the end. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, I will have for you some more Windows 7 Wonders.